everybody. It is actually the very beginning of May and around the very end of April, beginning of May, depending on how the weather is, the first of the wild edible berries up here come out and that's the salmon berry. So you can see the pretty little magenta flower there. That's kind of one of the last flowers, but you know when you see those flowers, we're about to have salmon berries and let's go look at some that are already ready to eat. The bushes, you can see the leaves, that's what they look like, and they're kind of leggy, kind of bushes that grow in clearings that tend to be, they, they like partial sun, well, they like a, they like, they like some sun, but not full on all day sun, so they're in kind of cleared areas. These are berries that are starting to ripen, and they come in different shades. So this is a ripe berry right here, it's orange. And you can just tell by barely tugging. If you have to tug a lot, it's not ready to eat. It won't taste very good. So there's an orange one right there. Let's look at some other colors. Well, let's before we look at the deeper red ones, these are not so ready to eat. You can tell that's kind of an in-between stage. You know this one's going to be a deep red. Same with that one. This one's going to remain a nice orange. But they're still not ready to eat. There's just, there's a very... There's a difference in quality. This this light orange one right here, let me focus on that. And then versus, oh, well, bird got to this one. This light orange one right here. I try not to pick too many because the birds really like these. But those are some really nice dark red ones. That the bird, I'll leave that for the birds. Like I said, I, I try to let the birds have at these they really love them but if I can get some you know they're the they're the early spring berries and they're very mild and sweet very seedy I've put them in salads before but they're just for, to me I just like them as I'm out in the woods doing work and stuff like that pick it's like you have a ready-made snack right there I've come into the wild where the stream that is back in the woods flows and where many salmon berries and other berries will be growing. It is in a magnificent spot. A beautiful sunny day. Still early in the season, but I see some really nice orange ones down there, down the bank near the stream. I'm going to gently walk my way down to get some of those, just because the yellow ones are so much sweeter. And then I'll have a nice variety, and that'll be enough. See how it just ever so gently can be plucked. That is a good salmon berry. Well, in my opinion, the best way to eat these lovely Pacific Northwest salmon berries is pretty much just in the woods while you're out cutting trails or splitting wood. It's a nice refreshing kind of thing, but let's just for the fun of it, try it with a little, um, just natural white goat cheese, some raw almonds, and some Pacific Northwest honey. Let's see, let's see how that goes. I'm just gonna use my hands because that's how I roll. Mmm. Yep. Well, I mean, you can't really go wrong. It's like you can put these on yogurt. They're really mild. They're just, they're full of seeds, but they're still, they're still really, really good. Um, like I said, they're best eaten out in the woods, but this is oh, great. Look at, there's a little spider crawling around. I almost ate it. I'm going to, I'm going to blow him away so he can go live on and not be consumed by me.